I Have This Old Gun is brought to you by Sturm Ruger. Hi, I'm Gary James. Hi, Gary. I'm Tom Einan. Hi, nice to meet you. Well, what do we have here? What did you bring us today? We have a Springfield rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, 1873, I believe. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what you've got here, this is a Model 1873 trapdoor. Uh, the trapdoor was a single shot uh, rifle that we adopted after the Civil War. Uh, even though we had lots of repeaters, uh, the U.S. government figured that uh, this was a more agreeable way to go for a couple of reasons. A, it saved ammunition, and B, you have to remember that the U.S. military really didn't think that we were going to be fighting Indians and whatnot. They thought we were going to be fighting a European war. This is yeah. what they more or less kind of aimed their armaments at. And everybody in Europe at this time had single shots too, so they didn't feel that they were underarmed. It's a very good gun. This is the Model 1873 rifle, infantry rifle, but it has the 1879 variation, the buckhorn rear sight. Uh, if it was a little, if it had all the original early 73 variations, those guns are kind of scarce. It would have a different type sight, it would have a high arch breech. Uh, that would be a fairly valuable gun. This gun is in really lovely condition. It looks like about a, I'd say 80, 90% gun. I, don't see any apologies on it. It doesn't look to me like the stock's been clean. The um, breech block should be case hardened. It looks like the case hardening is either darkened or whether somebody might have done some bluing on it, I don't know. But there is a little bit of a uh, little bit of rust and pitting here, but nothing, nothing terrible. It's a good, honest, attractive gun. It's all there. There's really no apologies for it. Value-wise, you, you'll walk around the show today and you'll see these going for anywhere between 650 and 850 in this shape. Uh, good, solid, clean gun. I noticed she also brought along the bayonet yep. for this rifle. This is your, your basic standard bayonet. This, what this, what this was a hook. They used to wear what's called a Mills belt, a, uh, a web belt, and it held a number of 4570 cartridges, and you could just loop this over the Mills belt. That's yep. what the infantry wore. Uh, it's a standard bayonet. Nice condition, blued blade. Uh, no real apologies. It's got the U.S. on it, a little bit of rust. Um, the scabbard's all there. It's clean. This should be blued. Most of the bluing's gone off the uh, scabbard, but you have the leather. The leather's in pretty good shape, and with a little leather treatment, you could probably bring that right back up again. You know, the bayonet's probably worth $75, $80. Gosh, I remember as a kid, you used to be able to buy these things for $2.95 a piece. <laughs> oh, well, I'm dating myself. Yeah. But yeah. um, I'm kind of curious, where did you get this gun? This was given to me by a very dear friend, a mm -hmm. World War II veteran mm -hmm. who has since passed on. Ah, well, so it was he, a gift. A he, gave you a, he gave you a lovely gun, yeah. a very nice piece. I'm indebted to him, and he's a dear friend. Excellent.